A fisherman engaged in his calling made a very successful cast and captured a great haul of fish. He managed by a skillful handling of his net to retain all the large fish and draw them to the shore. But he could not prevent the smaller fish from falling back through the meshes of the net into the sea. That is an Aesop fable called The Fisherman and His Nets. This is Folk Tales for Grown Folks, and I am Brother High Tim, and I'd like to thank you for joining me um, this morning live or joining me later on the podcast. Um, this story, once again, I have to stress these stories. These folk tales, these fables are not just for kids. Now, first off, I want to stress the point that it's about a fisherman engaged in his calling. And the way we we say it nowadays, well, actually, many of us are not blessed enough to move in our calling. Um, we are um, responding to somebody else's call. We're not following our calling and this fisherman is fortunate in this story to be following his calling what does it mean to have a calling this means that whatever you do speaks to your soul so you are able to invest yourself in it you are you you have you are working towards mastery or you have mastered your craft now the word that we use in modern times rather than calling is vocation which is when you, which which is formed by the word vo, voca, mouth call to call, calling. You know what I'm saying? So it's like most of us are not fortunate enough to move in our calling, and in that we do something that this fisherman does not do. You can always tell when somebody is following their calling because they do like this fisherman. This fisherman casts his nets out into the sea, and he pulls them back. And he gets a big haul and he pulls them back and he's able to successfully keep all the big fish, but the small fish get away. Now, for somebody that's just working a job, that's problematic. For somebody working for somebody else, that's problematic. Why? Because I want to sweat, I want to sweat the small stuff. I want to sweat the small stuff. It's bigger than it really is. Those little fish couldn't get they shouldn't have got away. And because these little fish got away, it messes up your whole idea of what you're supposed to be doing. You're not focused on what you're doing. You're focused on the little fish that are getting away when you got a big net. Unlike this fisherman who is able to bring in a big haul that not only could feed his family, but feed the families of his community and keep some type of economic life going. Within that community that he existed in. Alright. So. I do believe that the small is important. But I think the fishermen. Focused. More on the small stuff. While he was preparing. To fish. He sealed the holes in his net. Probably. So that he would be able to hold on to the big fish. He made sure his ropes. Were good and wouldn't snap as he was pulling in if he was fortunate enough to get a big haul. See, his focus on the small stuff was at the beginning. Many of us, we don't focus on the small stuff in the beginning. We focus on the small stuff after we don't cast the nets. And even when we're successful, because we're not following our calling, because we're not doing what we love, because we don't feel that what we are doing is adding anything to anybody. We become dissatisfied and we start sweating the small stuff too late. We be start sweating the small things that aren't even important to your existence or to the existence of what you do. You start sweating the small stuff that will not lead you to mastery. This man being a master fisherman probably was satisfied with what he had because he sweated the small stuff at the beginning. Um, this is Brother Hot Tim saying thanks. Um, I'm on my way out to uh, 
Simba Camp. So send some energy out for that. And if you have an opportunity, you can go to my Crowd Rise and um, make a donation to uh, to uh, Rescue Release and Restore. Or you can look up Rescue Release and Restore and make a donation on your own. Um, we're doing good work, so I'm hoping to keep it going. And I'm hoping to do some broadcasting while I'm up there. I'd like to thank you for tuning in because y'all burning up the internet getting to Aesop Fables. I'm, 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 I'm getting to folk tales for grown folks and i'm thankful and with that i say peace and i pray that your day will be as beautiful as you are